Hello, in the last tour I, I showed you how to um, install everything you need to start developing PHP, which is XAMPP, uh, the web server package, and uh, NetBeans, the um, integrated developer environment for developing uh, PHP code. Um, this tour I'll show you how to create your first Hello World um, script in PHP. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is open up NetBeans. might take a little bit time to load up uh, once loaded up just drag it in the right screen uh, okay this is some of the code I'm working on uh, a moment. Close that. okay so if you just load up NetBeans the first time this is where well, you might see a startup screen which you can skip but this is basically what you see um, first thing you'll want to do is go to file new project uh, it's PHP. If you've only installed PHP, you won't see all these other categories. It's just because I have Java installed as well. Um, you want to go to PHP, PHP application. Next, you can call it my first project, and you make sure that it is installed where the HD docs uh, underneath the HD docs directory. Um, this is the default location that XAMPP installs to, which is C drive. XAMPP, HDDocs, uh, anything under HDDocs will be visible by the web server. So if I just call this my first project, then that will be visible under the um, the web server. So I'm just going to select the latest PHP version, 5.4, leave the default encoding, uh, next, yep, you just leave this as project URL, localhost, my first project, Local website, yep, running a local website, yep, next. Don't you know you don't need to worry about frameworks at the moment. Finish. And it creates a default index.php uh, file. Just to uh, remove the confusion here, I'm just going to get rid of all that. Um, here on the left, you see under projects, you now have my first project. You want to open up source files. This is all the files um, that are associated with this project. Uh, index of PHP, um, I assume you already know this, anything that's, uh, if you're, the file that's called index will be what's default, uh, defaultly loaded by default on the um, web server. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to have your PHP tags, which is left arrow, question mark, PHP, uh, and then you end PHP tags with question mark right arrow. Anything that's in these tags will be interpreted as PHP. Anything outside of these tags will be interpreted as HTML. So I can't write code here in PHP. It will it it will simply not work. It has to be within these tags. And that is that goes for every single PHP page you ever make. Um, right. So simply the first thing you do in PHP, if I want to print. Um, to the screen, hello world, I literally type print uh, in brackets co semicolon hello world and that will print hello world to the screen if I load up my web browser go to localhost um, uh, oh yeah, that's another thing you need to make sure that you are running uh, if you open up your XAMPP shortcut you need to make sure you're running Apache and because you'll be using MySQL later on I would have thought you should always start MySQL as well this example doesn't require MySQL it doesn't connect to any database but most programs do in PHP um, so if I'm my first project you wouldn't have all these files, this, uh, folders this is just because of what stuff I'm working on it's my first project hello world there it is print is hello world and that's exactly what we typed here, hello world. Um, with PHP, there's several ways you can print to, this, to um, the browser. I could also type like this, without the brackets around it, print hello world. This would also work if I refresh a page, hello world still works. I can also use echo hello world. And it will print the data in the exact same way. And I can use echo with brackets as well. Save that. It, it all works in the exact same way. I personally use print. It it really doesn't. It does not matter how you do it. 
Um, that is um, that is literally how you create a new project, a new PHP project in NetBeans, and make your f and print to the screen "Hello World." Um, important things to remember is that you are definitely running under the ZAMP control panel or Apache and MySQL before you start, otherwise it sim simply will not work because the web server is not running. Um, and localhost is always your computer's web server if you're running a web server. Uh, you can also type 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 that's your the IP address, that IP address is always your computer. Um, yeah, that works just as well, but localhost is probably easier to remember. And there you go, there's your first um, oh, local ghost. That's weird. Yep, there's your first um, PHP program. Just make sure it's within the PHP tags and you should be fine. In the next tour, I'll show you how to use if statements um, and some more just some more complex PHP code, but that is that is literally how you print PHP.